This morning I'm going to a very popular public estate, Choi Hong Estate. And I will uh, I will take some photos there and I will take some time lapse as well. I've reached uh, Choi Hong Estate. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It's it's really colorful and yeah, despite the weather being a bit dull today, so color don't pop out as much. But uh, yeah, visually it's, it's quite interesting. So yeah, I, I can I can show you. But as you know, I don't shoot a lot of color. So today again, I'm shooting uh, Kodak Tri-X. So my photo doesn't have to rely on uh, on the colors. I I try to find some interesting composition. And yeah, that's pretty much it. try to find the repair center for my watch because uh, it's running really fast it's like uh, getting almost uh, three to four minutes per day which is really too fast so it needs to be fixed as the movement is not accurate at all yeah. the watch has been adjusted which is perfect it took about 20 minutes. So the very good surprise is I didn't have to pay anything. I took the watch, they checked it, adjusted it, and I'm just living with a watch that is uh, now running uh, perfectly well. So I'm quite happy with that. Right now I'm at uh, Genki Sushi. Uh, I'm going to have lunch. I just finished my lunch. I'm really very full now. It was awesome as always. Yankee Sushi, you can't go wrong. I just found out that there is a, an exhibition about uh, old photos of uh, Hong Kong and it's in Kuntong, so I'm not too far, I'm probably going to, to visit it. So I just reached the uh, Chili Nunnery. <laughs> to the exhibition about the great scenery along the way, so that's how it's called, and that's photos of Hong Kong in the 1970s, so I'm going to check it out. Okay, so the exhibition shows uh, the bus routes, as well as some uh, bus stops back in the 70s and also some uh, reports of this, uh, of this period. So this was uh, quite interesting. It's uh, really uh, archival photos of bus stops uh, around Hong Kong, but uh, unavoidably it's also showing uh, some street scenes. So it's not really street photography per se, but uh, can show the, what the life was like back in the 70s. So from this standpoint, I think it's it's really interesting and, uh, and also quite surprisingly, the districts haven't changed that much. It's uh, easily recognizable even today. Okay, so right now I'm back to Kowloon side. I'm in uh, Yamate and I will stay in between uh, Yamate and uh, Jordan because these are areas which are I think among the most interesting for for street photography. Uh, I worked a lot and I'm really exhausted. Uh, I went back home but in the meantime I went buying some films so I have uh, two rolls of tri -X. 
I have some uh, medium format film, Portra 160. And I have this film, I Schlecker 400, which I tried before and I, I really like the output. It's, uh, it's quite saturated and it's, uh, it's a nice film. My uh, printed hood from Shapeways arrives, so I'm going to try it on my lens. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it for today and uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.